everybody, I'm Scott and this is Beth. Today we're gonna bring you the world of skydiving. So when you agreed to come out and help host the show, did you did you have any idea that you'd actually be doing this right now? Oh no. <laughs> we're here today with Joe Record, the general manager at Skydive Dallas. Tell us, Joe, what kind of people normally come out here and do this? Um, your average skydiver is anywhere from a college student flipping burgers to make it, all the way up to doctors and lawyers, and everybody in between, blue collar, white collar, we're all out here jumping together. How does someone get started in skydiving? Well, we've got two programs here. We've got our Tandem First Jump program and the Solo First Jump program. In the Tandem First Jump program, you're actually going to jump with an instructor, so you don't have to spend all day in class. You'll be connected to him at the shoulder and the hips. He wears a double-sized parachute big enough for the two of you. Then we also have our Solo First Jump program, which we call Accelerated Free Fall. In that program, you spend all day in class, and two jump masters go with you. The difference is you wear your own parachute, and you'll do your own landing instead of landing with the instructors. Well, you want to go do one? Let's go. Let's go. Whichever option you choose, training is a necessity. So while Beth and Joe watch the training video, I'm going to get started on my six-hour ground school. Dewey is my trainer for the day, and he's going to teach me how to reach the ground safely. Basic parachute. We roll right in. After the training video, David, the cameraman, gives Beth pointers on how her skydive will go. And you guys will have probably about uh, about four minutes under under the parachute. It's really neat when the parachute opens because then everything goes all quiet. Because okay. you're going the same speed as the wind. It's like a hot air balloon. You're just, all of a sudden the sound goes to zero. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so we don't get a choice on who pulls the cord? Um, if you want to pull it, if, if you want to pull it, ask him. Because these tandem systems, they have two rip cords on them. A tandem skydive is just like a regular skydive. This is your skydive. We're teaching you how to do it. Like that. That's perfect. Okay. Now show me what you are. Cat. Cat. While Beth learns the proper technique for exiting the airplane, Let's get to know some of the staff. What do you do out here, Perry? I'm a video photographer and a skydive you coach. How long have you been jumping? I've got about nine years in the sport and a little over 4,000 skydives. If you were gonna do uh, some formation things, how many people would you have in a formation? You can have as many as two, up to 300. I mean, it's just, you know, however many you want to put in the air. So you have more airplanes, you have more people. You have to just plan everything a little more and a little more stringent. We can plan a big jump up to 15, and after that, that's when it gets really complicated. Uh, actually, yeah, 15 is pretty complicated, especially it depends on the skill level of each person. You know, so if you've got some people that are young, you really want to, don't want to get them too big because they're, they're overwhelmed with how many people are in the air with them. So. And I understand that you carry two parachutes with you. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, we've got our main that we use all the time, and then we have a reserve, and our reserve is packed by a licensed FAA rigger. And if we need to, we can get rid of the first one and then use the second one. So we all have to have that, period. There's no if ands, or buts about it. That's the law. Goldman on NT Extreme. Today we are going skydiving. You can see what he sees by the camera on his head. This is a commercial. Imagine jumping out of an airplane and falling towards Earth. If, you're, if you want to jump out of an airplane and you're too scared, just watch NT Extreme. Ah, uh, Buddha. Ooh, cool. Watch NT Extreme. Yeah!
We're back here at uh, Scott Out Dallas with Greg Foster, another talented staff member. Greg, tell us why you do these sort of things. I can't get enough of it. Skydiving is the best thing that I've ever done, ever. A couple different ways you can fly. You know, we call it, there's flying on your belly or your head down, using the top of your head as the first thing going down instead of your belly. And it's, it's kind of the new age of skydiving. It's where skydiving is going into three-dimensional. speed is relative to the resistance that you put to the wind. You know, if you lay out your whole body, you're going to go slower than if you just use the top of your head and, and a little bit of arms and legs. I mean, you're really doing 160, 180 miles an hour. What did you just get done doing? I mean, what was it? Just we basically just watched a video um, yeah, yeah, that explained all the liability and how you jump yeah. and all that kind of stuff. What kind of paperwork did you fill out? Waivers that signed our life away, basically. <laughs> Are you nervous? No, not at all. I'm yeah, excited. Right. <laughs> Beth, what are you about to do? I'm about to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> Why are you going to jump out of a perfectly good airplane? Um, it seems like a really fun thing to do today. I was lucky enough to be invited into the front seat to give you all a bird's eye view of all the action. Buckle your seat belts and stow all baggage. problem getting off the ground. Alright, hey Ben, how's it going? Great! Cool, we're a couple of minutes away from jumping out of this plane. Yes, uh, Joe's going to get you all hooked up, do a final gear check. You ready to go then, huh? Yes. All right, cool. Joe? All right, we are ready, brother. All right, cool. I'll let you get her all hooked up. I'll see you guys in free fall. Yeah. yeah.
Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. We landed just before Beth and Joe under their canopy. All right! Nice landing! Woo! Woo! So, let me ask you something. Was that the most exciting thing you've ever done? That was awesome! Where's the best place in the world to go skydive? Skydive Dallas! All right! Woo! Nice job, guys! Debriefing is the last stage of the skydive. Okay. Then, we did a 360 degree left turn. If you feel me, grab your hand and kind of lower your shoulders. You know how that just brought us around the left turn and when I leveled us back out, we stopped. Okay. Then, then um, David came over and got a little high five from you. He was begging you to blow him a kiss, but you wouldn't blow him a kiss. I couldn't really move. I, like, <laughs> I, I think his feelings were hurt that you wouldn't blow him a kiss. Let's play it around. We did a couple of spirals under canopy. That's fun. I want to do all that. It's coming down in a big spiral. Thank you very, very, very much. You're welcome. Congratulations, you did awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Learn from the best. Got canopy. I'm an instructor here, both uh, static line, accelerated free fall, and tandem. Um, I do some free fall photography, and I'm also the safety and training advisor for the United States Parachute Association. We have a really advanced program here. We've been really fine tuning it. We took the basic information that's presented, and then we've been fine tuning it for three years. The three years I've been here, we we're constantly upgrading and improving our, our programs. Now, is this the Skydive University that you're talking about? Uh, Skydive University is a coaching program once you're signed off to self jump master. But predominantly, what I'm talking about is our tandem instruction programs and especially our accelerated freefall programs. How many jumps uh, does it take to to get out of student AFF? 
status? To be signed off to self jump master is a minimum of seven jumps. And there are seven levels in the program and it can usually be accomplished in seven jumps. And uh, what's the difference between you know level one and level seven? Well, level one, for example, is an introduction into free fall, and it teaches you to read altitude and communicate with your jump masters because we communicate in, with hand signals in free fall. By level seven, you dive out of the airplane on your own. You're doing back loops, barrel rolls. You learn to track horizontally across the ground and pretty much self-supervise yourself from start to finish. Now, when you say track, how do you do a track anyways? A track, and depending on what kind you do, but we teach a delta or a flat track. You position your body in a delta formation with your head up, arch your back slightly, roll your shoulders, point your toes, and you can physically track horizontally across the ground at over 60 miles an hour. Okay, so you can either track at 60 miles an hour horizontally. What about vertically? How fast can you get up to doing that? And once again, vertically, if you go head down or even feet to earth, your surface area has now gone from your entire body to the, the size of your shoulders. Uh, downward speeds have been clocked at over 300 miles an hour. Hi, this is Beth of NT Extreme, and we're here talking with Scott. Scott, I know it's been um, about five years since you've jumped. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, actually, um, I started studying the course, and uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Sapping, doing his level three. The Cypress is an electronic device that will deploy your parachute should you be unable to do so. <laughs> hey, look, there's that Cypress. It's on, the instructions are not written on the back of the container. All right, there's Ernie. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> We're going skydiving. Level three, right there. You ready? Yep, slip your helmet on. Don't worry about the chin strap. Do grip on the goggles. All right, man, here we go. Let's see it. <laughs> All right, do we? Oh yeah, the other cameraman, there he is. Yeah, battling eyes. Petrified. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah, he's dying, see? We're all scared. But that's the fun of skydiving.
Strap. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you'll see it on the vid. You were going to the leg strap, but yeah, you uh, got it. I told you I was a little bit nervous. That was kind of, <laughs> that was it more intense than I remember it a couple years hey, ago. Hey, high five on that one, buddy. Good job. Oh gosh. Good oh, yeah. job. Right. Yeah. Cool. Nice work. Nice Man, work. That was fun. Good job. Right before I jumped out, I was scared for about 30 seconds, but then it goes by so fast. I mean, you get right up to the door and then you're just out. Okay, so once the parachute finally came out and you're just floating down to earth, you know, what was that sensation like? Um, it just kind of felt really peaceful. It was calm. The wind wasn't blowing, you know, because it was so dramatic whenever you're free falling. Once you pull the chute, it's just kind of like, ah, oh. <laughs> like everything's okay. So which part did you like better, the free fall or the canopy ride? The canopy ride, definitely. Were you a little bit nervous when you were getting real close to the ground when it was time to uh, flare and stand up? Yeah, actually I was, because the ground kind of rushes at you, and it's kind of freaky. Would you do it again? Definitely. I would definitely do it again. Mandy is a respectable dive master here at Skydive Dallas, and today she's going to take me through AFF Level 7. Uh, Scott, let's see what you can do. You ready to go jump? I'm ready. Let's do it. If I successfully complete all the tasks of this jump, I will graduate from student status. As Mandy approaches, she gives me the go-ahead to start my delta track. Job. Stay tuned to NT Extreme. We'll be right back after this message. Hi, I'm Brittany Goldman on NT Extreme, and you are watching the Extreme Sports. Extreme biking only on NT Extreme. We're pushing the envelope of Extreme here. We're off the pedestrian walkway. Yeah. Because <laughs> they can drive. This has been a twin production. But I can beat you. Master Riggers are a behind the scenes group of people, but their jobs are one of the most important in the industry. So tell, tell me what you're doing here. Uh, right now I'm packing a reserve parachute. So these have to be folded up very, very carefully, even better than mains, so that they always work. <laughs> there are like many ways of packing reserves, just like there's many ways of packing mains. Well, All right, well, we're going to get out of your way and let you get back to work. Thank you. Let's go jump again. Let's go. <laughs> Apparently, there's a graduation ceremony that they forgot to tell me about. But that's okay. It's all in good fun. Uh. <laughs>
Welcome back. Congratulations, Scott.